Hello everyone, I am Juliet and you are joining me here today at Spoilt Rotten Beads where I am going to show you how to make this beautiful rainbow memory wire bracelet. It's really simple to make, you'll see how quick and easy it is and if you've never used memory wire before then you'll learn how to finish it off and how to start off your piece as well. It's really pretty and uh, it's got this lovely rainbow theme going on so stick with me and I will show you how to get started and don't forget to subscribe to to our channel because then you will be the very first to hear all about our latest tutorials and offers and new arrivals here at Spoiled Rotten Bees. So to make one of these lovely memory wire bracelets you're going to need the following. You'll need some memory wire and um, memory wire is called memory wire because it literally remembers, it pings back into place. It's made from really strong toughened steel which is why it pings back into place but because it's made from such tough steel and it holds its shape remembers its shape you do need to make sure that you cut it with the correct cutters and these here are memory wire cutters and memory wire cutters will slice through memory wire really easily like that as you can see but if I was to use a regular pair of cutters I would completely ruin my cutters so I'm going to sacrifice a pair of cutters here and show you exactly what happens to your cutters if you use regular cutters to slice memory wire so this is a normal pair of cutters which are great for certain things like beadle on wire and regular craft wire and jewelry making wire but they're not good for memory wire let me show you why so if I attempt to cut my memory wire with a pair of regular cutters, you'll see first of all it's really hard and secondly I will chip and damage those cutters so that when I start to use these cutters now to cut something else I'll find that they just won't work as well. So it's cutting through at the moment but it's a lot harder and what that will be doing is over time it will be blunting this end in here and actually if I run my finger tip along here I can feel already uh, there are some little kind of grooves left behind by the memory wire which will mean that it's really hard to use these already for anything else after just that so I would I'm going to throw those cutters away now because I know that they're not going to be good for anything else I would really recommend that you only use memory wire cutters to cut your memory wire You'll also need a pair of round nose pliers like these here because we've finished the memory wire by turning a loop onto the end. And if you want to add a charm to your piece, then you can grab your charm and have that ready too. And then of course you'll need your beads to thread onto your memory wire. And I'm gonna be using beads from this gorgeous Arco Beleno um, kit that we have got here at Spoilt Rotten Beads at the moment. It's got some beautiful rainbow colors in it. It's really, really pretty. And um, I think I'm gonna use those because I want to stick with this lovely rainbow theme and make myself a beautiful rainbow memory wire bracelet. So I'm going to pop my beads and things to one side and just show you how to get started with your memory wire. So to begin with, all you need to do is find the end of your memory wire and take your round nose pliers and we're just going to turn a simple loop on the end of that memory wire. So I am um, going to take my fingers and things out of the way so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to grip my memory wire with my round nose pliers right up close to the edge of the memory wire like so and then I'm just going to turn my pliers like so to create that loop and there's a loop it's as simple as that so that's all you need to do to begin your memory wire just turn that loop because that will mean that now when you start to thread your beads on they will not fall off the end so all I need to do now is to grab some beads and start threading them onto my memory wire so these beautiful sort of cut beads, they're a bit like a cross between a bugle and a delica, but because they're handmade in, in Varanasi, they are very different to, to regular delica beads. They're not uh, uniform in shape, but I think that adds a certain charm to them. So they're very, very pretty. And as you can see, they're nice and easy to thread onto this memory wire. So I'm just gonna continue threading my beads on now. And, um, and then I'm gonna come back to you when I've threaded all my beads on and show you what my piece looks like and just guide you through finishing it off there. 
So I've been threading my beads on for a little while now and as you can see it's looking really pretty and I've got that lovely sort of rainbow effect going on there with this piece. And to finish it off all you need to do is shuffle all the beads down so that they're nice and tight up against each other and there are no gaps there and they're pushed right up against that loop there from the very beginning. And once you're confident that they're pushed down against that loop you just bring back your round nose pliers and once again, you turn another loop. So I'm just using my round nose pliers now to turn another loop in my memory wire. Tuck that loop underneath and let you guys take a look at that. There's my loop, I've got a bead trying to escape there. And I can now trim off my tail of memory wire very easily with my memory wire pliers and cutters and then I can just wiggle that loop down so that it's nice and secure and finishes off my piece like so. So that is all there is to using memory wire. Really simple, really nice way to make a bracelet. It's very, very effective. I do love this rainbow effect. It's great for people who um, who don't like to fill around with clasps and uh, you know, if you find that difficult. Um, it's great for children as well and for children's jewelry too. Um, it just winds on. That's all you need to do is just wind it on in order to wear the piece and it's really pretty. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. We'll also add links through to our website as well, so be able to purchase everything that you've seen in this video tutorial today. And thank you very much for watching. Oh, one other thing, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will be the first person to hear about all of our latest video tutorials and kits. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.